Today, Graham's heading to the heart of Hampshire, deep in the romantic county of Jane Austen, where couple Nick, a retired aircraft engineer, and accountant Jackie have lived for 20 years. Kind of the perfect day if it's daylight. But for the past three, their perfect country escape has become their prison. Thanks to an 11 stone ball and chain. Come on. St. Bernard, Tilly. Oh, this way. Oh. This way. In the car. Go on, in the car. Up, up. You're just not going anywhere, are you? Come on. Lyra, a lady with a big dog and a big problem. Up, up. Come on. Look, come on. You're like a furry beach whale, isn't she? Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. This is Tilly. Hello. This is oh. our, our dog that won't get in the car. Come on, oh. Tilly. This way. Come, come on. on. Come say hello. Come. Let's go for a walk over the mountain. This go way. On. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Tilly. Oh. So this happens every time. Right. So when she's like this, what do you do next? Call Nick. Nick. There we go. Hello, Nick. Hi. Sausages. Magic sausages. Right. We're fully armed now, then. Come, Come on, do you want a sausage? Come, Come on, on you like it. a sausage. Come on. She's like, I do want it, but on my turn. <laughs> Come on. Good girl. Oh, wow. oh, good girl. There you go. Come good on, then. Come on, then. Come on, then. Come on. Come on. You've got to be quicker than that. <laughs> good girl. Now we'll put there you go. Up there. Yeah. As much as she obviously loves sausages, she's like, nah. <laughs> the next stage is we try and lift her into the car. You're going to bundle her in. Yeah. Try. Right. Yeah. So how much does she weigh? About 72 Se kilos. 72 kilos. Right. Well, yeah. happy bundling. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. Come, Come on, then. Come on, then. Up, up. Oh. Oh, no. Come on. I've got the sausages. Tilly, here, here, here. Here's the sausage. Now we have to quickly oh. grab oh. her. Right. Right, right before she sits down. Oh. Good girl. Ooh, ouch. Oh, no, she's gone. No, nope, that didn't work. You're going to pull a disc like that. Right. Yeah. So what happens next, then? Hi, Ian. Are you and Kate around this morning? Would you be able to come and help us get the dog in the car? Oh, that'd be lovely. Lovely. Thank you so much. Bye. I love the fact it's like the most perfectly normal thing to say, can you just come around and help us get the dog in the car? <laughs> They're used to it. What effect is this having on you? Well, we're housebound, really. We can only go out for two or three hours because we can't leave yeah. her for longer than that. Yeah. And she won't come with us. We've got grandchildren that we can't visit because they were three hours away, so we would have to stop on our journey there. Um, um, yeah. But we can't stop with her in the car because we can't get her back in again. Where's this mad dog, then? All right, here's your friends, then. Here's Ian. Oh, yeah. You're happy now. Oh, yeah, look. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm Hello, fine. Ian. How are you? Yeah, you've been a bit of a pain again, Jeez. right? Right, should we go? Should we go? Should we go? Right. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Right, now she's up. Come on. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. Oh. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Well, good. There you go. Good girl. That was easy, wasn't it? I've got to say, it was a bit like one of those executive team building exercises. <laughs> How to get this huge dog into the car. Right, there you go, team. But it's not just leaving the house where Tilly throws her weight around. She makes a mountain out of mealtimes, too. Come in, Graham. Um, I'll show you the problem Tilly has with food. These are a range of bowls that we've had that she won't eat from. And then she'll happily eat from the floor. But now I can't get her to eat from any bowl. Oh, I see. Oh, that's some food. Tilly, come get your dinner. Come on, come get your dinner. Here you go. Look, come on, Tilly. Here you go. Here. Come on, here's your dinner. You can tempt her with some sausages and yeah, I'll, I'll try why those. Not? Here you go. So. Oh, you like your sausages. Here you go. Here. Ooh, Look, maybe. sausages. Oh. Huh. And if you tip a bit out onto the floor, then? Tilly, here you go. Here you go. Good girl. Well, in like a shot, look. Oh. So she'll eat from the floor, but you can't take her anywhere to anyone's house. People don't want a dirty, hairy dog eating from the floor and if they've got so. a nice house. I have left her to sort herself out, yeah. and she has stood and looked at her bowl for four hours. Right. In the end, I just give up and just yeah. shove it on the floor for her. 
I mean, she looks as though she wants it. She definitely wants it. She, she, she's hungry. She's looking at you. Yeah. She's like, put it on the floor. Yeah. yeah. When was the last time that she, she ate from a bowl? Probably three years. She drinks yeah. water from a bowl. Oh, does she? Yeah, yeah. This is her normal water bowl. She, she would drink water from there, but she can't go near it if there's food in it. Yeah. Oh, well, let's um... see that, then. Ah, amazing. So, exactly the same bowl. Exactly the same bowl. Well, I think, really, Tilly's just a big diva. Um, she's putting on this sort of showbiz act of, like, oh, no, I couldn't possibly do anything for myself. I think you have to do this for me. That's really gone through, you know, both the car thing and the food thing. But the problem's got worse and worse. It's like the bowls. One bowl was OK, then it wasn't. No, not good enough. Next bowl, not good enough. I think she's one of those dogs that, you know, she's a lot smarter than she's cottoning on. Any time you try and get her to go anywhere near the car, that's when she just sort of throws herself at the ground and she's not having any of it. It's like a show of this, and there's no doubt who the star is. She throws herself on the floor, and then you guys up the ante, understandably, so it's like, oh, look, the sausage, right? And she's like, no, no, it's not good enough, you'll have to bring it to me. So all the time you're trying to get her to move forward, naturally what you're doing is you bring the sausage back to her. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. why would I bother getting into the car, right? If I get in the car, all this stops. And uh, I've discovered recently that if I really, really <laughs> won't get in, my friends turn up. And I love them. Hi, Hi, Ian. <laughs> Any behaviour that feels rewarding always increases. Which brings us to the food thing, which is Chilli requires that her <laughs> food is tipped on the floor in a particular yes. way. But why do you think she would rather eat from the floor than eat from the bowl? She's learned that if she just refuses, she gets your attention. In effect, you pander to her a little bit. So if I refuse to go in the car, I get nice things and I get my friends to turn up. And if I find myself on my own in a room with a bowl of food, if I refuse, Mum will turn up. So you're right all along then. She's just attention seeking. So I think you need to stop being that personal assistant that gives her everything on demand. We need to start yeah. rewarding the right moments. Graham believes stopping this starlet stops couldn't be simpler. The key, not indulging her every showbiz request. And with Tilly's mealtime approaching, Graham's tackling the dinner drama first. So what I'm going to do with the food is do something that's never happened before, which is if she refuses the food, we take it away. The bottom line is we all need food, and I've got to get across to Tilly that food goes down. If you refuse it, you're going to go in a couple of minutes' time. Look, things aren't always on your terms. You can't just snap people to it. So if this diva won't play the part, dinner time is over. With the scene set and popcorn at the ready, all that's missing is action. I'm hoping for a good ending. Mm, me too. Right, let's set a timer. I'm going to give her two minutes. OK. Well, she hasn't eaten it. Well, whip it away. True to form, Tilly sticks with playing the diva. That's two minutes up. Take that mole away. She's very confused. Yeah, look, she's looking at where it was. That's encouraging. Oh, so Graham oh. resets the scene. Hey, what's this? Hey, what's this? Confident what she'll it? get the message. If she doesn't eat, the food will go. Oh. Now let's see. Hey, hey. Oh. She's definitely approached her bowl, which is more than normal. This is just like the food's there. Giving you a chance. No? OK. Try again. Because if we rush in there now and go, oh, I'll go on then and tip it on the floor, well, we're back to square one hour. After another two minutes, yet again, Graham calls time on Tilly. All right, all gone. There you go. She is so stubborn, isn't she? She's blown it. I'm going to pull it away again. If at first you don't succeed, try again. But am I missing something? Is there a different way to tackle this? Um, I don't know. Take after take, this stubborn St Bernard refuses to play her part. So, hey, look. some I sausage for motivation. Right there. Will it work? How about that? She was very interested when it was on the side of the bowl. She's got really she close. Oh, she got it. Definite progress. 
interest in that. So she would take a bit of sausage balanced off the side of the bowl, which was definitely a no-go this morning. Uh, absolutely, yeah. So that's good, that's encouraging. So I think we're on the right track. Taking the bowl away, it creates that, yes. oh, yeah. I've lost it moment, you know? But having shown a glimmer of stardom, it's back to being a prima donna. I'm going to go and take it away again, then. There's a moment when it looked as though Tilly was going to eat from the bowl, but then she went back the other way. Uh, I mean, I've, I've tried and I've tried, but we can't go into the night not feeding her. After over an hour of waiting, one final take. Oh. What? It's tempting, isn't it? It's a proper conundrum, isn't it, this one? I mean, we've made a tiny bit of progress, but nowhere near enough. I think we need to draw a line under it for now. What I would do is keep practising this technique, because we have been quite close, I think. It's just not got there. Do you know, I was convinced that this was going to work. I just thought, you know, she's going to get the message here that if she doesn't eat from the bowl, she's not going to eat at all. I'm a bit deflated, if I'm honest, because I'm facing the possibility that I might have to do things completely differently. But no sooner had he left, a breakthrough. You're not going to believe this. Nick and Jackie sent me a message with a video on it. Tilly, eating from a bowl outside. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? As soon as you had gone, that was it, yeah. Yeah, it's just... yeah, a little tinky. You've got a sense of humour, I'll give you that. Shall we, uh, shall we have a look at the car problem? Oh, yes. absolutely. So Tilly loves attention. Any time you get her anywhere near to the car, she throws herself on the ground, she will not perform and that was getting the adulation from her audience. So I'm going to switch this around. If you move towards the car, yeah, we'll give you a little treat, sure, but you'll get the audience sort of appreciation that the performer in you is craving. And I'm going to roll out the red carpet for this one, literally. What about that? Well, just for you, a red carpet. She's like, hmm, I should think so too. Would Madam like to do some dog training? Yes, please. I think Madam would, wouldn't she? Good girl. Right. Madam, your red carpet awaits. Luring Tilly with treats, Graham wants to direct her onto the red carpet and eventually in the car with a command fit for a leading lady. Action. When she performs... Yay, good girl! ..she gets the audience's adulation. Now then, we're going to move the red carpet. Action. Clever girl. Interesting. She's even waiting for that moment, isn't she? Hitting her marks, Graham wants to give her more room to perform. I don't think she's going to be running around anyway. Why don't we take her off the lead? Yeah, OK. That's it. Good girl. Good girl. Wait. Wait. Action. Good girl. This is good, so I must have moved a couple of metres, I think. Um, I think we're making decent progress. Yeah, a absolutely. Tilly, action. Good girl! But can Tilly make the leap ah, to girl. superstardom? And the red carpet is going into your limousine, madam. So, ready? And action! In you go. Action! Action! Good girl! Good girl! There you go! Yay! Yay! Good girl! There you go! With Tilly's lack of action, will Graham be forced to go back to the storyboard once again? She really wants to get in, but it just looks as though she's like, I don't know how to do it physically. It's been so long since she last jumped into the car. Yeah. She just... We've just always lifted her. I think she's waiting for us to cave in and lift her, isn't she? Time yeah. to improvise. Oh, yeah. yeah. That'll do, won't it? Right. Now it's serious. Sit. Good girl. Action. Yay! Good girl. Action. Go on in. Up you get. Yay! Action. 
Good girl! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're such a clever girl, I knew oh, you could well do done, it. Oh, well Tilly! But will Tilly perform as well in the sequel? Supported by Jackie. Action! Oh, very good. Wait for it. She's got to win. Oh, and it. Action! Further in. Oh, blimey. Oh, well done. That's better than I did. That's amazing. <laughs> good girl. Yeah, you're good girl. Now for the finale. Can Tilly make the leap? OK, guys. All by herself. Action! Action! Go on, then. Yay, clever girl! You can do Come this! On. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Fabulous! A <laughs> BAFTA-worthy performance. I'll tell you what. For four years, Tilly's been keeping Nick and Jackie oh, prisoner in their own home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully now they can hit the road and visit family across the country with A-lister Tilly in tow. Magic. I would never have believed that she would have got in the car. Without being on the lead or anything, just on command is amazing. It's going to be a massive difference. I mean, it's set them free, isn't it? And let's not forget, it makes a big difference to Tilly. She doesn't know what she's been missing out on. <laughs> <laughs>